Hey guys, welcome to another video, and I'm back in Stranded Deep. It's a great game. I mean, look, it is beautiful. There's just been an update, and Beam Team Games have been adding some really funky stuff into Stranded Deep. Adding some depth, changing interfaces. So I wanted to give you five good reasons to come back to Stranded Deep. Here they are. There are now mineable resources. They've added a new resource. You can see here, you have to have the refined pick to work at these resources. And you get clay. Now, this has come in to replace the steel that used to be in game. And it used to sort of lie around the shore and you collect up a few pieces. But now, in amongst the shallows of the islands you can find these lumps of clay and so once you've got your clay you have to set up a furnace and a brick station okay, so crafting and we will build some bricks you see there's a lot more to build now and put some bricks down here so once you've got your bricks together I've got a load in my backpack you can see here we've got seven in total you can then craft yourself the new structures, which are brick structures. So let's craft a brick foundation. See, one brick foundation to complete this little square over here. Like that. And then you actually have to use a hammer to finish these off. There we go. And of course, they clip just straight onto the foundation. And then you have to do the same with the wall. Give it a good old hit with the hammer to finish it off. It's like a progression. You get part of the building up here and then these lovely stone walls. The second reason why I think you should come back to Stranded Deep is the interface. So they've changed it, redesigned it. It's much more slick. There's a lot more in there now. And it's less confusing than it was before because they designed it for a fairly simple set of objects. And as it became more and more complex, they was, had to come up with all these other menus and it started to become a bit tricky to navigate. Now with this, this is the inventory, you hold down tab and you get this arrow, it's very flexible, very quick. So that's your backpack, which is good. And then there's also the crafting interface. Now you press C and you get a series of menus. And it also shows an image, a clear image of, of what you're making, which is great to have so you've got building rafts farming crafting and some of them require different objects so if you're building you need a hammer and if you're farming you need the hoe and it gives you a list here and it shows you including the new brick that we've just been talking about there so really really like the interface they've spent a lot of time designing that definitely much better than before there are now a number of predators in game including the tiger shark and the great white shark and they seem to be keener than before so they appear more frequently there's definitely in my mind more of a threat and that was always a problem with this game there's also another predator that actually is on land there's there are snakes now in the game and they will take a few bars off your health rating and you get hit by them a couple of times and then you may well end up there especially if you're mining for clay and you get attacked by a shark after it so there's more of a threat no doubt about it another great thing about some of the updates lately is that they've added a whole range of items to the game like we've already seen the furnace the brick station we've got the tanning rack for leather and we've got the loom for cloth and we've also got furniture there's a whole range of furniture as well some of you will have seen some of this furniture before. It's been in a little while now, but you've got shelving for your buildings, which you can drop stuff onto. You've got tables, chairs, different types of chairs, depending on your materials. And then you've got the bed, which has been in for quite a while now. And I would say the final really good reason is the sunsets. They are sunrises. They are just amazing. You really get this feeling of being here it really has a immersion that it's 
virtually unparalleled. You are stuck on this island. You have to survive. And that survival thing really it is really there. You're not up against any enemies as such, although the sharks are pretty bad if you're swimming around <laughs> in the ocean. But you have to find water and food and set yourself up and then and build yourself up. And with these additional things that have been added, you can now build bigger and better and it looks just pretty damn amazing. So I really love this game. I'm really pleased that they're carrying on the development and that there's more stuff coming. And uh, so guys, I hope you do as well. So there are my five reasons for coming back to Australia.